Hi, good morning everybody. This is Patrick Zielbauer from Infinity Futures. Thanks for taking a look at the YouTube channel. I wanted to introduce a new study that Sierra has recently released and is actually in the process of continually improving as usual. Um, it's called the Large Volume Trade Indicator. So one of the hot topics out there right now being order flow and bid and ask volume and so forth is uh, trying to make the retail trader aware of uh, when large trades occur. So some people try to do this in a time and sales format where they have a window that, you know, scrolling through like a ticker tape, you know, some people call that tape reading. Most people that we speak with would, would concede that while that's interesting, it's really hard to make decisions based on that information or information in that sort of format uh, and could lead to, you know, sort of impulsive decision making. So we, you know, we've seen people sort of shy away from that a little bit. And instead, they're looking for different ways to be able to see this data in an effective format on the chart you know, that allows them to reduce, again, the amount of information present. So what we're seeing on the screen right now are three charts. On the left-hand side is a one-minute chart of the S&P with the large volume trade indicator on it. On the right-hand side is a numbers bars chart, which is commonly referred to like a bid-ask volume or order flow type chart. Uh, and that has no filters on it. So we're seeing all the trades as they come through. And then in the bottom right, you're seeing the same thing as the top right, except I filtered out anything, any trade under 200 con or under 200 contracts. So essentially in the bottom right hand corner, you're seeing a numbers bars chart, but you're seeing zeros anytime, uh, anytime a trade occurs that's less than 200 contracts. So you're only seeing basically 200 lot trades or higher. All right, which in the S&P is, relatively common, but it's 741 in the morning here. So we haven't even really had the New York stock market open yet. Sometimes you see some bigger trades come through. So the, the reason that I'm, I'm having all this on one screen here, it's not, it's not necessary for you to do this, but I'm trying to illustrate a point. And that is that this large volume trade indicator that shows this green box here, that is attached to this candle right here. So the indicator shows up to the left of, of the candle in which the trade actually occurs. And the size of the of the box is automatically calculated based on other large volume trades in the same visible area. Right now there are none. So we're seeing this relatively large box here. If another trade were to come through that was like an 800 lot or something you know much larger, this box would automatically shrink a little bit. Okay. So the, the reason why I'm, I'm putting all these charts on one screen is so you can see that this data can be trusted because you're seeing this 250 lot uh, trade here, uh, and and that you know is what's generating this box. So this chart on the left will function on its own. You don't need these other windows open, but if you like the idea of looking at numbers bars because you are looking for lots of volume being traded at a specific price level, this might be a way for you to see that information in a concise format without having to really look at all these numbers. Looking at this type of data you know, on a, on a all day long, you know, looking at these numbers go by can be difficult. You know, that can be frustrating and, and exhausting. So what you're seeing here is basically, uh, you know, it's, it's a way of taking bits and pieces of this info and displaying it in an easy to see manner. So if I scroll back in time here, you're going to see other instances of the same uh, indicator showing up. All right. And then there's a color scheme available that you can customize based on you know, how large the trade is relative to other trades in the same visual area. You can change the way that the large volume trade indicator displays data. So if you go to studies here, you go to large uh, volume trade indicator and in settings, um, you can see that there's a number of ways to have this displayed. So in this case, uh, if you go to draw mode, uh, there's a couple of different choices. Sierra makes this data available on their website if you wanna get into specifics, but basically you're setting a threshold in my, in my case of 200. So I wanted, I wanted a 200 lot minimum so that it would match up with my numbers bars charts, which I have filled, you know, which where I'm filtering out trades under 200 contracts. And then you can choose how you want the marker displayed. Like, do you want it as a text box? For example, if you want it as uh, text, you know, it could look like this instead where it's actually showing a number. That was a little harder for me to see, so I didn't like that. If you want it to be a circle like this, you could make it a circle, it really doesn't matter. This is just personal preference. I have just mine set to the marker here. I have it set to be transparent. That's an option. If you want it to be, you know, like this, you can turn that on or off. It's really easy. Um, and then you can allow this to be, you can allow the indicator size to be calculated automatically based on uh, relative to other large trades in the same visual area. So it's all relative to what else is happening in the near, near term timeframe. 
I like to have this set to yes from what I've seen so far, but the default is no. All right, text size, indicator size can be, you know, adjusted here. And then you can set a max size for these for the automatic sizing as well, which I, I believe this is the default of 35. And then the color scheme, which ranges for, you know, um, extremely dominant volume to uh, the least dominant volume as long as we're, you're over this 200 threshold. So it's a pretty neat study. It's really well documented on Sierra's website. I'll include a link to the study itself uh, in the description in the YouTube thing here. So take a look. Um, here's another one that looks like we can, uh, oh, actually this one was, was, these are a couple from earlier here that are actually a lot smaller now because we're showing this one. So remember this green box was a lot bigger before. See how it gets bigger and smaller? So right now it's a lot smaller because there must have been a really big trade back here around 6.53 a.m. and I have that visible on the screen. As soon as I hide that, you know, these become relevant again. So this will happen in real time. It's kind of a neat thing. It's not, it doesn't wait till after the bar closes. You can see it happen uh, right away. And a good way to test it out if you want to check to make sure that it's really giving you the right info is open up a, a numbers bars study like this. And in the chart settings section, if you go to chart settings, advanced settings two, there's a volume filter. You can exclude anything less than or equal to X number of contracts. In this case, I chose 199. So I'm not seeing any trades come through that are less than 100 or less than 200 contracts, basically. So that's why I set that number to be the same. Because when I see a 200 or higher here, that's when I want to see the box show up here. That way I know I can trust this large volume trade indicator. So uh, it's working pretty well so far. If you have any questions about it, you know, let us know. It's something that's being continually improved. So if you have suggestions, please notify us. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.